Imagine everything you know, everything you love, every memory, every person who has ever lived, existing on a tiny, fragile world. Our Earth feels immense beneath our feet, stretching across oceans, mountains, and deserts. But what if I told you it's just the beginning, a grain of sand in an endless desert? How far does existence stretch? Could it be infinite? Could there be infinite versions of you out there living infinite lives? The answers lie far beyond our planet, beyond our galaxy, in the vast, unimaginable expanse of space. But before we can grasp the size of our universe, we must first understand where it all began, here on planet Earth. For the majority of human history, we believed the Earth was everything. Not just our home, but the entirety of existence. And journeying across our planet felt endless. The further you traveled, the more wonders you would uncover. Every step into the unknown revealed something new, a world both magical and mysterious. As explorers ventured into unexplored territory, their beliefs about the world began to change. A revolutionary discovery was made in 300 BC that would alter our world forever. A discovery that stemmed from a simple shadow. While the sun is directly above you, you place a stick into the ground facing straight up, perpendicular to Earth. Since the sun is right above you, you notice there is no shadow coming off of the stick. Now, simultaneously, your friend in a city directly north of you places a stick in the ground, again facing straight up. But he notices a shadow coming from his stick. Using trigonometry, he finds the angle of the sunlight hitting the stick to be around 7.2 degrees. He took the 7.2 degrees he measured and multiplied it by 50 to get 360 degrees, a full circle. This means if you took the distance between the stick with no shadow and the stick with a shadow and multiplied that distance by 50, you would get the circumference of Earth. And doing the calculations, you get 40,000 kilometers, just 75 kilometers off from our current prediction. His discovery was a revelation. It proved that Earth was not an endless plane, but a curved world with boundaries. Yet for its limited size, Earth is vast enough to encompass all of life as we know it. All 8 billion humans, 3 trillion trees, 900 million dogs, 1 billion cats, 50 billion birds, 20 million penguins, 4 trillion fish, and 20 quadrillion ants, and everything in between. There's room for everything on our planet. And yet, despite this profound understanding that Earth was finite, one lingering truth remained. Earth was all we had ever known. It was our entire universe. But something so common and seemingly meaningless as a shadow hinted at something far greater. Earth had boundaries. It did not encompass everything. And the question remained, how far does existence truly stretch? The year is 1917. The boundaries of our universe stretch no further than the stars we could see with our naked eye. The vast collection of stars we call the Milky Way was all that there was. 
but we didn't understand just how large our galaxy was until we looked at a specific type of star, stars that pulsate. These RR Lyrae stars pulsate at different rates, depending on their brightness. Brighter stars will pulsate slower, while dimmer stars will pulsate faster. Once we look at a star and see its pulsation rate, we know exactly how bright the star truly is. We can take this intrinsic brightness and compare it to how bright we see the star and calculate its distance from us. Harlow Shapley used this method and began to construct the shape of our galaxy. And he revealed a shocking truth. He revealed that our galaxy was 100,000 light years in diameter, a distance unfathomably large. To put this in perspective, let's imagine traveling to the closest star to us, which is about 4.2 light years away. If we took a normal passenger plane, it would take us 4.2 million years to get there. This discovery was a humbling revelation. The galaxy was no small haven. It was colossal. A place inhabited by hundreds of billions of stars. And keeping the stars company are planets. Roughly 200 billion of them. And amongst these planets we find a wide variety of worlds. Planets that rain glass. Planets made of diamonds. And planets that are hotter than some stars. And some planets are just like Earth. Mountains, rivers, clouds, and oceans. Just like our home. The Milky Way was everything. Our entire universe. And for the time, this was enough to inspire awe. A single galaxy unimaginably large, home to hundreds of billions of worlds. But the story doesn't end here. What we didn't know, what nobody could have imagined, was that our galaxy was just a tiny part of a much greater reality. And the question remained, how far does reality truly stretch? The year was 1920, and the scientific world stood divided. At the heart of the disagreement was a profound question. Was the Milky Way the entirety of the universe, or one of many galaxies scattered across space? On one side was Harlow Shapley, who figured out the size of the Milky Way. He took the stance that our galaxy was alone. It encompassed everything. And on the other side was Herber Curtis, who argued that our galaxy was just one of many. It was a battle of ideas that touched on humanity's deepest questions. Was our galaxy alone? For the next four years, the question of whether the Milky Way was alone remained unsolved, until Edwin Hubble made a significant breakthrough. He looked into the Andromeda Nebula, and by comparing the intrinsic brightness of stars to how bright we see them, Hubble found something astonishing. The stars in Andromeda lie far beyond the edge of the Milky Way, at a distance of 2.5 million light years. Andromeda was its own galaxy. We were looking into a whole other universe. And with that single observation, the Milky Way's title of being the entirety of our universe crumbled. A new scale of reality emerged. We began to peer into the depths of space, 
and found something remarkable. An unbelievable amount of galaxies, all suspended in the cosmic void, each one home to hundreds of billions of worlds. It's hard for us to wrap our head around just how large our universe became in this moment. We thought one galaxy encompassed all of reality, yet all along there were roughly two trillion galaxies, all coexisting in our universe. It's as if we were standing beneath one single tree, claiming it was the entirety of Earth's forests. The boundaries of reality continue to be pushed back, farther and farther. From the horizon of the sea, the entirety of our Earth, the vastness of our galaxy, to roughly two trillion galaxies. Reality has become unimaginably large, reminding us just how profound our universe is. It was at this point when we reached a boundary, a limit imposed by the universe. The edge of our observable universe is not marked by a wall or a void, but by the limits of light itself. The observable universe, vast and awe-inspiring, represents all the light that has had time to travel to us since the beginning of time. Beyond this, the light has not yet reached us. And because the universe is expanding faster and faster every second, perhaps it never will. What lies past this horizon? Endless galaxies, infinite realities, or something we can't even comprehend? We only know one truth with certainty. What we can see is not the whole picture. This leaves us with one stubborn question. How far does reality truly stretch? An ancient tribe lives on a small isolated island. To them, this island was the entirety of existence. Its forests, rivers, and skies was all that there was. But as the tribe grew, they began to wonder. Standing on the shore, staring towards the horizon, they asked what nobody has asked before. What lies beyond? Like this tribe, we too stand on the shores of the unknown. Our island is the observable universe, but beyond that horizon lies something we cannot reach, a reality that teases us with possibilities. But we are not completely in the dark when answering this question. We have a clue that gives us the lower limit of how large our universe could be. And this clue lies in the shape of our universe. Scientists turn their attention to the cosmic microwave background, the most distant light we can observe. By studying this ancient light, they aim to measure the very shape of space itself. They carefully analyzed the angles of the light's path, and they made a groundbreaking discovery. The universe appears flat. But what does this truly mean? Well, although we observe the universe to be flat, it doesn't necessarily mean that it actually is. For example, when you walk around our planet, you perceive everything as flat, yet you hopefully know on the largest scale, Earth is round. The same could be true of our universe. But for this to be the case, the size of our entire universe would need to be at least 250 times bigger than our observable universe. So that's option one. 
Our universe appears flat, but in reality it's spherical, just like Earth. But option two is that our universe is truly infinite. A cosmos that extends infinitely in every direction. And in an infinite universe, the very idea of boundaries ceases to exist. And with it, so does our understanding of reality. In an infinite universe, every possible arrangement of matter must exist, meaning that everything that is possible is real. Every version of you that could exist must exist. You are constantly dying and constantly being born over and over and over again. There is versions of you living out your dreams and versions of you enduring your worst nightmare. There's a version of you watching this video having an existential crisis over the idea of infinity and another version of you dismissed it entirely, refusing to believe it. One version stopped watching halfway through and another was so captivated it inspired a lifetime of searching for the truth. There's infinite versions of this video. There's one where you're the one that's talking and I'm the one that's listening. You, me, and everybody we know must be created over and over and over in a never ending cycle of infinity. In an infinite universe, everything is happening all the time. But perhaps an infinite universe isn't something to fear. It's something filled with infinite wonder. If the universe is truly boundless, it means we are a part of something so grand that its full beauty is beyond imagination. It's not a story of insignificance. It's a story of infinite possibilities. In an infinite universe, there's no such thing as the end. Every step forward is a new beginning. The idea that infinite versions of you exist isn't cause for existential dread. It's a testament to the boundless creativity of reality. No matter how rare, how improbable, or how fleeting something might seem, it has a place. Everything you love, every memory, every person who has ever lived, every story ever told, every dream ever imagined, all of it matters because somewhere it exists.